I hope everyone's having a good day today. Uh, the Lord has laid it on my heart to uh, get a point across right now. Because we're getting into the close to the time when he's going to start his judgments and uh, revival in the church, a brief revival and a final harvest of souls. And I get a warning from him, a message that he wants out, put out. And it, a lot of it, and, and, and to some extent, has been and because of things that I've been seeing here lately personally and my uh, interactions with some other people. Uh, and then come and go to him and, and, and bring in this uh, situation to him. And then him uh, telling me that, you know, this situation needs to be addressed. Sometimes, you know, we need to... Uh, address some not so pleasant things and not so pleasant messages but you can't always uh when you uh you're in ministry and you're operating a youtube channel and you're in ministry and you're called to, to put forth the messages that the holy spirit's giving you uh, you're not always going to put forth a message that people want to necessarily want to hear but that they need to hear and if you really love the uh, your brethren and you love the Lord, you're gonna, going to put forth the messages that he tells you to put forth. And you're going to tell uh, your brothers and sisters uh, what he wants to share with you and that may not, some people may not want to hear, but they need to hear. And he gave me, uh, uh, the, from the book of John, chapter 13, and verse 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. As I, he loves us, we're supposed to love one another. And the sign that uh, to the world that distinguishes us is born again believers spilled, uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. The, the sign to the world that, that we give that distinguishes it and is supposed to set us apart is the love that we have for that, uh, one another and not judgment like we're seeing on here more and more as time goes on, people setting, I believe, setting themselves up to be judges of their brothers and sisters. And I don't believe that they have any authority from the Lord at all to do what they're doing. I question it. And I had asked one person recently that was doing videos all the time, harping on the same uh, maybe half dozen channels for months and months and months. And I asked that per person about it. I commented in the box on the one video I watched. And I asked her, uh, you know, why don't she do a video uh, about, uh, and I mentioned this in the last video that I've, I'm, I've uploaded, but it's taken time to upload. And now, you know, I'm coming on and doing another video in the same day. And I asked her, I said, why don't you do a video about your background, your experiences, your qualifications to be, you know, doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, do a video about that so that people know something about who you are, where you come from, when you were called, why you were called, and all these details. And then maybe some people would be in a, a position to think, well, you know, maybe this person is qualified or whatever. And that person said that they would take that into consideration, about the idea about doing the video. Hopefully they will. But, uh, you know, we have so much of that on here right now. He gave me, so that was why he gave me John 13 and uh, 34. But really, it gets what the, the message and the thing he wanted me to get across today, more than anything else, was going to uh, 1 Thessalonians. Uh, and the fourth chapter and verses 13 through 18, and then into chapter 5, some of the verses of chapter 5. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning uh, them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. 
But if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even to them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, and we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Them which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them that are in the clouds to meet them meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And right now, that we're in the last days, and time is just about ready to run out, we should be focusing on comfort. That was uh, what the Lord commanded us to do. Be focused on comfort. And if you want to judge somebody, look in the mirror and judge yourself. Start right there. Start right there and look in the mirror and judge yourself. That's what I say to anybody that comes on with the channel that wants to constantly expose false teachers and dreamers and prophets and all, all the rest of them, and they never really talk about themselves. Nobody really knows anything about them. Who are you? Who are you? What's your background? What, what qualifies you to do what you're doing? And how did you come to the conclusion that you... You should start up a YouTube channel and just do that full time. You ain't got anything else to say to the body of Christ but simply to judge other people's channels. You don't have anything else to say. You don't have any other responsibility as a believer according to the scriptures. What you're supposed to be doing here in the last days, you have no other responsibility but to judge others 24-7, 100% of the time. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I'm not going to buy into it. And on my channel, of course, I'm not going to have it. And if I mention anything, even like this lady here that I'm talking about that did these videos, I'm not mentioning no names or no channel names because I'm not going to get into it. I refuse to get into it. And I've even had situations where in my situation, I'll go on somebody else's channel, watch a video, and I'll leave a comment about something. And then I'll have a bunch of mockers and, and scoffers and everything putting down nasty comments about my comment on somebody else's channel, not on my own channel. I mean, I may get a few uh, here so far, but, you know, I think that the people that get bigger channels have a, a bigger problem with that. And somebody that has a small channel, they're not going to have as much problem with that on their own channel. But to go on somebody else's channel and to have people mock and scoff you, it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. When you're agreeing with the person that's doing the video, if somebody was going to mock and scoff on a particular person's channel on a video or something, wouldn't you think they would be mocking and scoffing? scoffing the person that was doing the video and saying whatever it was they were saying that they disagreed with why would you mock and scoff somebody uh, a, why would you mock and scoff somebody that's a subscriber that's simply leaving a comment for the person's channel why do you do that it, uh, it doesn't make any sense to me if you have a problem with what's being said on the video leave a comment with the person who's doing the video, who produced the video, and whose channel it is you're watching. That might make sense to me, but not leaving remarks with people that are simply commenting on somebody else's video. But I get that quite a bit. Um, now to chapter 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in the darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. But let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. 
For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort one another, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work, their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. To all men. Not just your fellow brothers and sisters, but even to all men you're to do these things. Pray without ceasing, rejoice evermore. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good, abstain from all appearances of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and your whole body, soul and body, be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, because faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. So this is the point that the Lord wants to get across. The judgments that are starting, and the judgments, if there's any judgments that's coming any time real soon on our nation, and there are some that are coming, uh, and, and, and we're, a lot of people are seeing are being shown things and having dreams and visions and then being told to do videos about them across our land. There is stuff coming. There's no question about that. But the Bible says that the judgment's going to start at the house of God. He's tired, is sick and tired of people judging other people and coming on and mocking and scoffing on these channels and causing a bunch of problems all the time instead of people looking in the mirror and, and straightening up their own lives, because you're only going to be accountable for what you do in your body. That's what you're going to be account accountable to one day when you stand in front of the Lord Jesus and give an account for every single word and deed that you did in your body throughout your entire life. When that day comes and you stand at the judgment seat of Christ, you're going to give an account about yourself. You're not going to be talking about, you're not going to be giving an account to the Lord about a false teacher or a preacher or a dreamer or anything like that. He's not going to ask you anything about anybody else on that day. He's going to ask you an account to give an account for your own actions and words. So keep this in mind because it's coming. Judgment's going to begin at the house of God and it's going to begin soon. And this is the message that he wanted me to deliver. And my next message, hopefully I can get to uh, giving a testimony about what happened in April of 2017 when uh, on uh, the Sabbath, you know, between uh, Sunset Friday and Sunset Saturday on the, the last Sabbath in the month of April of 2017, and the Lord did a obviously a supernatural thing on Facebook, but on that same weekend something else happened too, and uh, that just showed me where I stand as uh, in my calling because of what uh, what else occurred that time, and uh, I, I'd like to give a testimony about that. So I'm going to do that in my next video. Uh, I hope everybody has a safe and happy Memorial Day. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for your comments that you post and your support and uh, watching the videos and sharing them and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it all. There's a, a, a plan laid out for my life 
that is probably going to be brief because of, simply because of the fact that we're running out of time. And all of us only have a certain amount of time to serve him. So I don't know how much time I'm going to be given, but, you know, he's laying out, his, especially here lately, he's, you know, telling me, giving me a little outline of what I, I'm supposed to do. And um, so I'm going to, you know, try to get as much done as I can with the time that I have to uh, work with and trying to win souls and to try to preach and to try to teach. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to be able to do that. And uh, I just I thank each and every one of you for your support. And if you do subscribe to my channel, I will subscribe to your channel. So. Uh, and then uh, please like uh, and uh, share the videos, any single video that I ever do. Uh, anyone is welcome to share it and put it on their channel. So you have my permission in advance to do so. And, you know, I appreciate, you know, people asking me if they can do that just to double check. But just letting everybody out there know today, you know, from here on out that, you know, you can share any video you have permission ahead of time to do so god bless each and every one of you and uh look up because uh your redemption draws nigh god bless you all